One powerful thing with Excel and pivot tables is to be able to connect to other data sources external to Excel and pull that data directly into Excel um, within the pivot tables and aggregate it um, and format it um, and have it however you want it and then be able to click a ref the refresh button and your data is um, refreshed within Excel when your external data itself um, is, is new records are added to it. Whether it's a CSV file, whether it's SQL Server, whether it's Oracle, whether it's MySQL, um, Access is another one, um, or just a, a various ODBC data sources that um, you can connect to. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to a CSV file as well as Access um, and then pull that. Um, data into an Excel pivot table so that you can then refresh your pivot table and new data um, whenever new data is added to the underlying source data that data is pulled into the Excel pivot table. So let's first start off with a CSV file and we're going to click on our data tab and then we're going to click from other sources we're going to we're going to choose from Microsoft Query in here, I'm going to choose new data source, and I'm just going to call this CSV, and then I need to choose my driver here. So I want to make sure I choose um, Microsoft Text Driver for a .txt or .csv. Can choose connect here, and I can choose my um, my directory. I want this this uh, the C advanced database um, C advanced C advanced underscore external data directory. That's where my CSV file is located, and I'll just click OK. Now here's my advanced underscore database dot CSV file that's in that directory. I'll click OK again, and now I can choose that data source I just created. I'll click OK, and here you can see now all the fields that are in my CSV file are available to um, pull into um, my pivot table. I'll click Next, and I can do a variety of things. I could um, filter on specific columns or whatever I want to do, but I'm not going to do that in here because I can I can do that in my pivot table itself. I can sort. And now um, I'm going to go ahead and return the data directly to Microsoft Excel. And it's going to let me choose whether I want a table, a pivot table report, pivot table chart, and pivot table report. I'm just going to choose pivot table report. Click OK. And now I have my pivot table. So I can just drag stuff in. My customer name and my revenue. Um, so here, let's go ahead and now um, create a pivot table and connect it to Microsoft Access. So again, I'm going to choose my data tab from other sources. And then um, for this one, I'm just going to choose my data connection wizard. And I'm going to just choose ODBC DSN. Sorry, my ODBC DSN. And then I'm going to choose Microsoft Access Database. And it's the same thing where I'm going to go to the directory where my Microsoft Access Database is located choose that database, the .mdb file, click OK, and then you can choose the table um, that you want to connect to. I only have one table in my database that has my data. Click Next. Um, if you have password information, if you want to give it a description, basically this is your connection information. Click Finish. And then it's going to ask me if I want to, uh, again, place this in a pivot table report or pivot chart or table. I'm just going to choose pivot table. Click OK. 
And now I have my um, pivot table that's connected to Microsoft Access. So um, again, if the data in my CSV file or the Microsoft Access database is updated, if new records are input or updated, they're inserted or deleted, whatever, when I choose the ref when I right click my pivot table and I choose refresh, my pivot table is then up updated um, correspondingly with the data from that Access or CSV file. So I don't have to go back and, and redo this every time. Once I've established this connection, I can, I can just refresh it um, to get the latest and greatest data.